Hello everyone. In this video, I want to give you a short introduction how to use the platform TV Hub to automate your trading view outlets and create strategies from that and convert them directly into trades. If you are new to this platform and you just created your account, you have to add your API keys for the different exchanges. For every exchange, as you can see, when we switch over here to BitMEX or to Binance, and there's a warning that you have to add them and there are documentation how you can do this. For this video, I have added my BitMEX testnet API keys and the UI is pretty straightforward. You have to select your pair that you want to trade, in this case, Bitcoin. Then you have to choose if you are buying, so go long or short, or you can close the entire position. Then you have to choose your trade size, in this case 100 contracts. And as you can see, there's an inbuilt risk manager that calculates your risk percentage for every trade. So this is based on your position size and your stop loss. As soon as the stop loss is activated, the risk percentage is changing. And you can see if I'm changing my position size, in this case to 1000 contracts, it will calculate the new percentage. The same goes if I'm changing my stop loss. You can see I'm taking a bigger risk now. Okay, I will set this back to the initial values. And now, you can see here, you can set it, take profit. In this case, 10% from my entry. And then I will close the position. Here are the three buttons that I can use. The first ones I will explain later. First, I want to show you that I can execute my trade directly through this UI. If I hit execute now and say yes, my trade is directly executed in the BitMEX exchange. As you can see here, my orders are filled. I'm now in a long position, 100 contracts. And my take profit is there as an old one and my stop loss as well. Now I will click quickly show you how to close this position. There's a special button for that. This could be pretty useful if you want to exit a position based on one of your trading view alerts, for example. Just hit the close button and if you have a open position in this pair then this, this trade will execute. It will remove all other orders and then exit the position against the base pair with a market order. And as you can see here the position is closed and we have no other open positions at the moment. Now I want to show you how to set up your trading view alerts and create trades based on them. Here in my trading view account, I have a very nice indicator called Market God. This gives me buy and sell alerts. Um, so on a sell alert, I want to go short and on a buy alert, I want to go long. For the sake of this video, I'm currently on the one minute time frame, so I don't have to wait forever until the next alert occurs. And to give you an example of a possible strategy, I'm currently in a short position, 100 contracts. And now I want to use my buy alert, next buy alert, to go long and to flip my position. So I'm um, 100 contracts short, so I have to 
go 200 contracts long on the next RLAT so that I close my position and open a long position. So I'm going 200 contracts long on a market buy and then I hit the create button for the trade comment and then I can copy this comment. Now I go back here to my trading view, go to my RLAT and hit the plus button. Then I choose my indicator, market got in this case, the buy RLAT. I say only at bar close and then I paste here on my trade comment. And very important here, you have to check the webhook URL and paste the TV hub RLAT endpoint. After that, I can create my RLAT. Will appear there. And now I have to wait for the next signal. For you guys, I will speed it up a little bit so that we can see what happens on the next signal. Now it's almost there. We have to wait for the bar close. That is signal occurs. And now we can go switch over to the exchange and see if we are long. And yes, we are. 100 contracts long. And now you can do the same in the other direction. You can create a sell comment and create a alert for the sell signal of the indicator. Pretty simple. So you don't have to use an indicator like this. You can create every possible strategy. Here another super simple example. I create two, two trend lines here for the channel. And now I will set up an RLAT for the upper one. So you can say I want to sell 200 contracts, the market order, copy the comment, and on the upper trend line I set an RLAT. So when this trend line is crossing, I can execute my comment. then I can do the same in the other direction, 200 contracts, long, and now I can set the RLAT on the lower trend line and can execute my trade there to play this channel here. As this is just a simple example, you have to figure out if this is really working for you, um, but the point is that you can create an RLAT on each possible scenario that TradingView gives you and you can execute them. So you can create your own scripts and fire RLATs from there and whatever. There are a lot of possibilities. I use this trend line here for example really often to have um, stop losses for Binance. So Binance does not offer a market stop loss. So I set my stop loss with a trend line. And when the trend line is crossing, I will fire a close position comment. So one more thing I want to show you is the activity log. Here you can see every action that took place in the past, as you can see, here is our initial buy of 100 contracts, or the buy in market order, then the take profit was set, and then the stop loss was set. And there was the close position signal to exit the first position. If something goes wrong, you see error messages here, or you can just review what happened in the past. I hope this video was helpful for you and you have an understanding on how to use this platform now. Um, please join our Discord channel 
ask questions, uh, give feature requests or bug reports. We will appreciate every feedback from you and hope you enjoy it and have fun trading. Bye-bye.